for a new law kicking in on Wednesday. It's sparking a big debate nationwide. Starting January 1st, employers in the state will no longer be allowed to ask applicants for their criminal history on a written job application. Eight other states have similar restrictions in place, but attorney Stacy Snyder has a big problem with this. Attorney Randy Zellin, well, he kind of likes it. Uh, let's start with you, Stacy. This law is absurd. It's basically saying that employers, when they're looking for a job applicant, can invite in the entire convicted population, convicted felons are welcome, to come in and have a job interview, and they can't actually do screening of these people until they have them in front of them and they can ask them the questions. So it's just taking... It's a little bit more intimidating at this point. Well, I, mean, <laughs> I think it's a better situation where you have to fill out an application, sure. sign your name that you're telling the truth about your situation and your background, than coming in in person and basically putting on a dog and pony show for a potential employer. You could lie in person, um, and on an application at least, you have something in writing showing that the employer did some due diligence in weeding out the bad apples um, because the person filled out the application. And, that and, they and Randy, don't have what is wrong with the, an employer wanting to weed out the bad apples? Because we are a country of humans, not numbers. We love a comeback story. We are a country of second chances. It is such an amazing thing to now, you get to meet me. You get to look at me, judge me, listen to me. And we'll deal with my criminal conviction afterwards because my criminal conviction may complete, be completely irrelevant and have nothing to do with whether or not I can do this job. But for you to have a knee-jerk reaction because I'm convicted and never well, even Well, you talked about me. us being humans, but if someone went against humanity, if someone violated the human aspects of America, then they deserve something of a black mark, no? Hey, if you want to treat our penal system as nothing more than punishment, 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 even a 12-year-old knows. What about rehabilitation? What about second chances? People yeah. make mistakes. It's part of hire. being human. I don't want to hire someone, a convicted felon, who's been rehabilitated. I don't see rehabilitation in the cards. I actually represent clients who've been convicted of grand larceny from stealing from their employers, lose their job and try to go out and get another job. Why should an employer have to sit and entertain them with a cup of coffee at a job interview? Why is it the role of government now to force this issue? That's the part I don't get. I mean, why? If, a, if, if I was an employer and I decided to waive this on a written application, that should be my choice. Why is government making me do this? Well, I guess I could say that even a broken clock is right twice a day. The reality is the government Government really is getting it right, which is they're saying, no, you're going to meet with Randy. You're going to look at him, listen to him. We're not saying maybe you have I, to maybe, hire him. Maybe I'll be intimidated by him. Maybe I'll love him. Maybe, maybe, I, I'll, maybe realize, I'll be intimidated by maybe him. Maybe I'll realize the man Maybe made I'll be mistake. afraid to say no in his face. Then don't hire me. But I'm afraid. You're in my face now. You're some dude who just came out. You've been pumping iron <laughs> for 10 scary? years. Come on. I'm not scary. Come on. If you want to hire somebody for a job, the fact that the government's forcing you to let everybody in the door to your company on your premises, no matter no. what they've done in the past, what, not what, everyone what, what, does deserve a What the government is saying is let's gauge someone based upon who they are, not based upon something that they did. Yeah, but who so, they so are is bad Listen news. to me first. Maybe bad. not. Every person you know that's ever gotten into trouble is you know bad. What? That's it. If Baby bathwater gone. No, if no. I have a pool of people I could hire, the last people I want on my payroll are people who have been convicted of a crime. Period. I don't have room there for it. There is a long and distinguished list of people, celebrities, entertainers, athletes, business people who've made mistakes and they've come back and because we gave them a chance. That's what this what makes this country so great. Well, I can tell you right now, I, you know, again, that should be up to an individual. I think this is a, the, the larger issue here is that we keep losing our rights, either as an individuals or in this particular case, employers. I mean, it, to me, if an employer feels the way that, 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 that she feels, then, 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 then that should be their prerogative. But if they feel the way that you feel, that should be their prerogative. The notion that, right. that, that this is going right. to, I just, listen, I know we're going to be talking more about this because my theory is that ultimately they're going to try to let, allow felons, even felons serving time right now, to vote. I think that's the next big deal. You guys are great. We got to leave it here, though. <laughs> Thank All right, you. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Well,